Welcome. This is number six. So we just have one more after this. I hope you guys aren't sick of our pulled pork recipes. I would love for you to share in the comments a meal that you love to make with either zucchini or pulled pork. Today, we're gonna make enchiladas. These are still gonna be quick and easy, but we'll take a little bit more prep and a little bit more time in the oven. To get started, we're gonna spray our pan. We just want the bottom spray just a little bit so they don't stick. You'll just need a pan that you can bake these in. We're gonna do four of our zucchini crust. This is again gonna be one serving. So if you're making this for lots of people, just go ahead and double, triple, whatever you're gonna do. And that goes for any of these recipes that we're doing. I am just doing one single serving on each one just to kind of show you a variety of different things I like to do with the pulled pork and zucchini. Okay, to get started, we're just gonna pick up one of our zucchini crust. I have a fourth of a cup of enchilada sauce. Now that's gonna count as one of our greens. You can use less if you want it to be a condiment, but the hard part about enchilada sauce is finding a good one that has not only low sodium, low calories, and low carbs. So if you can find that, you can go ahead and use that for your green. So we're gonna use a, just a little spoonful. It doesn't even have to be a full spoon. I have here one and a half ounces of cheese and I have two ounces of pork and that's gonna go on all four of your enchiladas. We're gonna add just a little bit of taco seasoning in here. I have one teaspoon of taco seasoning that will go over the whole thing and really you could use about a half of low sodium taco seasoning and that's gonna be one condiment. We're gonna add a little bit of cheese on that. And then a little bit of the pork. And then we're just gonna roll those up and we're gonna stick a toothpick right in there. And we're gonna do that to all four. Once we have those all rolled up, I'm just gonna top those with the rest of our enchilada sauce and then the rest of our cheese. And then we're just gonna pop that in the oven for about five to 10 minutes, really just to get it nice and warm and the cheese melted. And that, my friends, is right out of the oven, bubbly hot, and smells so good. Don't forget to take out the toothpicks, and it's ready to eat. Enjoy! Don't forget to check out next week where we do our final pulled pork recipe.